This is a story all about how Aunt Viv created an animated series. <laughs> Ready for this? Ready for this? <laughs> there she is. Janet Hubert is best known for her role as Vivian Banks on the 90s sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And after leaving the show in 1993, she went on to appear in several more shows. Mighty Soul, tell them. Oh em. my gosh, including All My Children, yep. New Amsterdam, <gasps> most recently, yes. Sweet Magnolias, yes. one of your faves. One of my faves. And now she's getting ready to debut an animated TV series about why a shy Brooklyn boy who loves school, isn't that cool? Give us those sneakers. <laughs> I told you! Once I put on those shoes, I rule! Without any further ado, this is fantastic. <clears throat> I don't. Can we keep? I, I, I want to keep watching it. <laughs> Fan <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fans of all ages, please welcome to the show, Janet Hubert. Yes, there she is. Yes. Woo! Hi. Oh, oh, oh my oh, goodness, we made the sandwich. <laughs> I love this. I love okay. this for us. Um, what, what are you taking that you keep looking younger and younger and younger? Oh. You are stunning. Wine. Actually, <laughs> an answer I can get behind. Red or white or rosé? White. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right, I gotta switch my trajectory a little so bit. You're so sweet. Good morning. With this is Good so morning. much fun. Thank this you. Is, we are, we've been talking about this. Like, yes. We're very excited. Like it's our job, and it actually is. This <laughs> is so exciting for me. Let, it is. Yeah. Tell us first. Let's start. Let's start with the present and, and work our way back. Yes. This Your show. show. Yes. Uh, JGWC Kids. I yeah. created it based on my son who was bullied, also based on the fact that I was ill and sort of trapped inside my own body. Mm. So putting her, creating her, dressing like this, going to Barnes and Noble when I couldn't get work, singing these little songs to kids, it became a thing. They were like Janet Granite, Janet Granite, JG, JGs. So I said, there's something here because kids are getting bullied, my son was bullied. And so it's all about a little black boy who's from Brooklyn, who's bullied, but loves school, but it ain't cool. Mm. So it's bringing book smart kids and street smart kids together to create life smart kids. Oh so my God, life smart. We have so many things for girls and so little for boys. Very true. So little. And also at that age, at this age, third, fourth, and fifth grade, second, third, fourth grade is where we lose them. We lose them in math and science, and so I combined, uh, I, I tried to find a way to combine learning, experience, and fun, and great banging music, and JG <laughs> was created. She knows what the people want. That's right. <laughs> How long, uh, you said it, it comes out of, it comes from your son, pretty much. Yes. How long has this project been in the works? Lord have mercy. <laughs> Let me tell you something, animation is not for the faint of heart. First oh. of all, to find, it's 25,000 a minute. Oh. Wait, $25,000? 25,000 a US. minute in US. So I had to go outside of the country to find, you know, um, partners in India. Oh my gosh. Yes. So, so we you've spent been on about 1.7 million on this property and it took a year. Oh. We did it during COVID. Oh, right. Oh wow. my God. So I cast it myself, uh, did about 15 of the voices. <laughs> I was like a schizophrenic at my booth. Wait, so okay. who, was, who was, give us one of these voices. Um, there's uh, Mina. Well, Mina comes from Brooklyn. She's like, she talks like this, and she's really sweet. Oh my God. And, and then there's Stanley Leroy. He's like, she talks like this. So it's like, you know. And then there's Raul, who's, who's, hey, hey, what do you want? What do you want? And then there's the voices where I did the singing of the, the high. Oh, 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 oh. That's me. That's you. Yes, yes. You were doing everything. <laughs> this is, it made it cheaper. Necessity is the mother of invention yes. Yes. and creativity. Yes, and there were only three of us on the American side. Wendell Haynes, Ronnie Myrick, who did The Incredible Hulk, uh -huh. and um, The Addams Family, and myself on the creative side. So we had to do all of the characters, create all of the backgrounds, and do all of this. So I spent days and days and days and days and days in my uh, sure. studio at home. But now, it's a labor of love. It is. Yes. Oh my God. And does your yes. son know that it's loosely yes. based on? He does. How does he feel? He's, you know, bullying is so bad. And what it does is, what people don't understand, when you hurt a child,
that child grows up to be a hurt man. Mm -hmm. And so I am so anti-bully and I mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so fed up with what we're seeing with for our children. Mm -hmm. And I know that mothers and fathers want more than what we're seeing. Right. And I was also tired of black versions of white shows. Right. So we can create our own and we're grassroots, we're small, we're independent, but you see the beauty That's right. of this property. That's right. Yeah. And I think as a mom who, and you know this, my youngest son was bullied for a hot second. And I went from television journalist to B girl from the Bronx in about 0.4 seconds. Mm -hmm. And I had to pull myself back and say, okay, yes. this kid is bullying him because yes. he is a hurt child. Yes. Yes. And thank goodness, fast forward two years, yes. we're all holding hands when I was singing Kumbaya. But <laughs> we've all, so, so, so personally, thank you for doing this. Thank because, you. Because I did look and there, were, there was not a lot of stuff for young boys. No, there about, was nothing to decorate his room. There was nothing that, right. that showed him who he might become. Right. Children believe in themselves when they see themselves, Ex and enough of our children don't see themselves. Exactly. And I have to say thank you to um, Will. Is that right? Who helped me put this website together, mm -hmm. Westbrook. I called him, I emailed him, and I said to him, listen, I'm having a problem. I need some help. I said, you said you wanted to help me and not hurt me. So will you help me? And he did. So he lent me his entire social media team, website builders, and together we put this website to together. To clarify, they did this. Yeah. this is Will, Will Smith. Smith. Will That's Smith. Right. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Just to go. show you that sometimes your greatest adversary, who you think is your greatest adversary, can become your biggest advocate. There you go. Wow. We all There's a whole lot going on We right all evolve <laughs> at different rates, though, right? It, yes. Very, very true. Yes. And he came in in the clutch when you oh, needed him. Oh, he did, him. right. Oh, he did. Uh, so there's the book yes. available now. The book is available now. The TV series, Getting Ready to we're Launch. We're getting ready to launch. We are look, we're looking for a home. So okay. Netflix, I've got four shows on your uh, network. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Call, her, call her Netflix. JG, okay. Yeah. Netflix, Hulu. <laughs> Uh, HBO Max, I got a show on your network too. So it's like... Making it all happen. Yes. Uh, speaking of Netflix, can we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, spoiler alert. I'm not there yet. I have been. I, I, I have to be at this place at 3 o'clock in the morning, so it's very hard for me to watch what? television. So it's a, it, I have a long catch up time. So Can't I. At 3 o'clock in the morning? 3 a.m., I'm here. I'm on the grounds, 3 a.m. Morning television, mommy. Mm -hmm. Whoa. She's very disturbed by that. I know, it's disturbing. That is disturbing. It is. I'm disturbed <laughs> as well. So, I watch the show religiously. I love it. Our producer, Steph, said it's, it's a, it came out in a time when we needed it, yeah. and it is a comfort show. It's like yes. comfort food, but it's comfort television, yes. and I love it. So, I'm, I'm not up to date, so. So, I will not spoil anything Don't spoil anything, anything but you. tell us everything about. But I play Heather Headley's mom, mm -hmm. and I am a Heather Headley fan. Mm. So, when I went on the set, I saw her in Aida. <gasps> and I was like, oh, okay, because the voice. And she was going, oh, <laughs> we were both like going. I love and that. I, it's a wonderful show. It's a wonderful it show. It is such a great show. And I'm so honored that they asked me. It is wholesome. How is it um, different or a departure from so many of the other roles that you have done? Um, I play a lot of moms at this age, you know? <laughs> so the one thing about when I play moms, I try to give them different qualities based on what the story is about. So this mom is very direct and very straightforward mm -hmm. with her, but a, she's got a softness, but she loves her daughter dearly, but she just wants to be very brutally honest as mothers can be. Sure. Oh yes, you know, we know that to be true. Nobody's gonna say it the way mama's gonna say it. It's like, mm -hmm. right. amen. You're getting a little fit there, you know what I mean? <laughs> My mother, I remember her saying, when are you going to straighten your hair? Uh-uh. <laughs> My mother will call me today, I need that top you had on. Yeah. A little, a little, a little washed out. Maybe, yeah. you know, maybe, maybe something got a little bit right. Don't like right. that lip color. Right, 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 right. Thank you. A mother's love. Uh, okay, so, I mean, I would love to yeah. live in Serenity. Hello. And be oh. a part of that family. If you it lived in wonderful. Serenity, for you, yeah. top, top experience, going to Sullivan's for a meal or going to the corner spa for a treatment uh -oh. or a yoga class? Oh, spa. The spa. The spa. spa. All day. I am a spa junkie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You Massage. What, I was just yes. going to say, what do you, when you go to the spa, Korea, what do you... Uh, a Korean uh, bike scrub. Ooh. Oh, you've never had a Korean oh, bike scrub? Oh, I have. Oh. They beat you within an inch of your life, but it's great. It's I, it. I need that. <laughs> I need that. Like, yeah. they, they, they remove enough dead skin that you could plant a tree. It's very true. <laughs> it's amazing. You're like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was clean. <laughs> I thought I it was clean. Sign me up for this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, can we talk about? Let's let's go back to. Uh, I'm I'm going through the all resume. My children. Oh my god. All my children. One life to live. Um, HBO Max. Love life. Good. The OG. The last OG. 
uh, pose where I played uh, mm -hmm. the, the mother from hell, the aunt from hell, the they trees. Awesome. Right. Oh, she was a sanctimonious monster. But can we go to the, take it back to yeah. where you got your start on the stage? Oh my God, yes. I mean, you, you, we're just peeling back the layers we are, here. We were trying to do the math. <laughs> I think I was the only person on the team that saw Cats. And I think I saw it when you were in it. What? Mm -hmm. What year? The first year? Yes. <gasps> was I on for Grizabella? Because I understudied her with no rehearsal. <laughs> Imagine, oh my God. I went on with no rehearsal. You went on cold. To the great white, went the on great white cold way. cold during the, during the beginning two weeks of Cats with no rehearsal. Yeah. So I was playing Tantamile already. Tantamile. So I had to warm up as a soprano and you know, doing split leaps. And I got so tired of people petting me. It was like, look. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you pet, ooh. That like, shell was not one of my favorites. I'm just gonna well, say this. I, could you imagine, right? Wait, so you went on cold. Cold. And knocked it out of the park. Cold. And then it happened again that night. I stepped on my tail. I went mm -hmm. to hit, touch me. And I stepped on my tail and I'm going, <laughs> it's so e easy. Ah! <laughs> to leave me all alone. Ah. Stars, they just like us. They just like she she stepped on her own tail. on my tail. Yes. Uh, Blew you... my pipes out. Ah. Yeah, I, I felt like I, because I had no orchestra rehearsal. Oh I my God. I had no rehearsal with the orchestra. I had no costume fitting. I had no, I had a piano rehearsal. That was it. And that oh was it. Oh my God. That was it. As you look and they were like, you're on. And you... then I had to peel off all that makeup. Oh my God, I'm crying. Oh, right. And <laughs> go in her room. And the overture was playing. So it was like, it was a nightmare. Trial by <laughs> fire, baby. Yes. Trial Death by fire. Yes, right. but it makes you strong. Yeah. It makes you strong. I'd say that's character building. <laughs> oh, my yes, God. Yes, yes. Yes. You line up all the roles that you've played. Um, I won't ask you to pick a favorite, but can you pick one that was transforming for you? Yeah. As a person? La, uh, Pose. Mm -hmm. Playing Aunt Latrice. Uh, Remember Me. The story of Mahalia Jackson. Mm -hmm. My executive yeah. producer yep. and partner, Erica Nicole Malone Entertainment. She produced that as well. It's on Hulu right now. Playing Aunt Duke, Mahalia's namesake. She was, a, she was, yes, those kind of roles where you have to go internally. Also, Lost in the Stars. I did a lot of theater. Mm. Lost in the Stars for Colored Girls. Oh, for Colored Girls. That's that a was one. brutal. That's a tough one. It's those kind of shows where you sit in the dressing room and you go, I can't do this. Because you have to go so deep right. in the character that it, it becomes very depressing. Mm -hmm. So I would sit there after the show like this. Oh, oh no. God. In my dressing room, and people would say, Janet, we gotta catch a train. And I'd be like, I How can I catch I a train can. at a time like right. this? Because you gotta go so deep into that pain. Right. So those roles I don't like, because they're, they're exhausting. But eight shows a week, Broadway is tough. It's, it's tough. It's I, not for the week. I, uh, something I it's will not. only ever be able to <laughs> imagine right. in this lifetime. Janet, oh my oh goodness. My gosh. This has been a trip. Thank I've been you around so much. the world and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still young as ever. Thank you so much for all the work you do. You're amazing. Thank you. We love you. And back book. to where we started. Mm -hmm. Go purchase Janet's book, JG and the BC Kids, at the website on your screen. There it is. Yes. Thank and you. Go get date. it. There's not many. There's you not can stay up to date with everything there. She'll post the news about when, <clears throat> when Netflix picks up the show. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> thank you. Come you on, guys. netters. Thank Do the right so thing. Janet, thank you so much. Oh, thank my goodness. You. Love it.